Good morning out there, traders, and welcome to the Aptero's Daily Market Insight. It is March 14th, 2024, and let's dive into our recap of yesterday. Let's take a look at yesterday. We had one line in the sand, pretty straightforward plan for us. We had scenario one being bullish up above, scenario two being bearish down below. Uh, I had mentioned that this particular neutral reference was going to be critical to us for the session. We wanted to see the market kind of push right through that um, without a lot of hesitation to get up into this area here. And exactly what I was kind of talking about played out in yesterday's um, trading. You could see the bar to bar overlap in this section here, not really pushing through that neutral zone like we'd like. Unlike over here, where you see no bar to bar overlap and a pretty strong move up through it. This is what I was talking about um, as a barrier to the upside in yesterday's DMI. So taking a look at the overall opportunities from yesterday, we ended up seeing... Uh, you know, the market come into the open in this section here. It sells off back into our line in the sand area. We get the trade of the day pretty much right there uh, from that low where we end up seeing a sideways move coming out of it and then a push into that first target area that I was mentioning um, in the DMI. And of course, the bar to bar overlap here, the lack of a real push from the buying side of things kind of began to weaken the upside um, from the perspective, right? And we were talking about that in the DMI. Uh, yesterday and of course this market uh, sells back off going making a, a deeper low here into the close but not violating our line in the sand so we get an opportunity from here uh, into the close not really a place that you might want to put risk on because you're coming in and losing time on the session but if you are somebody that specializes maybe in scalping the uh, the close of the market or something like that uh, definitely a bullish opportunity along with our line in the sand scenarios there so uh, the idea ended up playing out from that inflection continuing up and hitting into our target area uh, that we were playing out overnight. So that's the overall landscape of what we were going on yesterday. Let's dive into what we have going on today. All right, so taking a look at uh, yesterday and then moving on into today, we have a kind of a similar layout. Um, we have one line in the sand here. We want to be bullish up above it for scenario one, uh, bearish down below it for scenario two. And you can see all of our targets kind of laid out here for either scenario. Um, this first neutral area is is going to be important to us to hold for the upside. In other words, if this particular neutral reference holds, it's putting lower time frames in a much more bullish state and continuing to push those up higher. This would be our first overall target, no matter how this market plays out, right? So this is our overall target for the upside, and then this is the stretch target up here. So no matter how scenario one plays out from where... Um, we essentially can see if, if this market continues from this neutral reference, that would be the overall target idea of there. Um, and if we get a really bullish day, maybe a stretch target up into here. Uh, if we don't see that really bullish type of day, this particular neutral reference probably comes down, pushes into our line in the sand here where we're going to have to monitor for bullish inflections and bullish opportunity along with the analysis here. And then that would be the plan coming out of there um, with scenario one. First neutral reference there would be a target. Then if we get above it, Second neutral reference there would be our overall destination um, for that bullish move and then a stretch target if we get a really bullish day. So that's scenario one kind of fully broken down there. And take a look at scenario two. If we end up seeing a push pretty much down below this area here, um, it's wide open space down into this target. And there really isn't much for us to do uh, in terms of scaling. The one place I could say or could see a scale possible is if we break down in this area here. So you could kind of look across here and say, all right, well, if we clear out the 5208s, that's a nice place to scale because any further downside kind of would be shifting, um, you know, this market in terms of making lower lows. So that would be something that we'd be paying attention to, to the downside. Overall destination for scenario two is right here. And uh, that's kind of the full layout for the DMI today. So trade well. Um, hopefully these scenarios, you know, clearly explained for you and uh, broken down into individual pieces. And uh, let's get after it. Mind your process and make sure that you uh, keep your risk in check.